Hey everybody and welcome back to another Max Velocity weather forecast and in today's forecast we'll be breaking down a large storm that is coming to the United States it'll bring a large winter storm a severe weather event with damaging winds large hail and tornadoes and as well as a large cool down I'll be giving you the latest breakdown on everything that you need to know in this forecast and let's hop right into what this large storm is currently doing because it is officially in the United States and right now our system is back over in the Pacific Northwest. There's actually a lot of moisture up here. We have a lot of showers on going up there near Washington and Oregon. The atmospheric river events are continuing here right along the West Coast, which is going to continue to bring several inches of, of rain over the next few days. And then we also have a ridge that has been moving off to the east, but we have a surface-based ridge back down in the Southeast United States that is keeping areas quite dry right now. But what we'll be watching for over the next 24 hours is a low pressure system to move across the northern plains and into Canada. That'll be part one of two to this large storm. Once this gets up into Canada, we're going to see a secondary low pressure system develop down in parts of the Mississippi Valley that'll trigger the threat of severe weather on Saturday and as well as even Friday, which is tomorrow. And then we'll also be watching for a winter storm threat as we head into Sunday across parts of the Northeast, the Ohio Valley, and even parts of the Midwest. And by the way, this is the future radar from about two days ago. You might remember if you've been watching our forecast daily. Notice that the snow event was originally thought to be ongoing across the Midwest as we go into this weekend. This is what the European model was showing. Well, things have obviously changed, and I mentioned this a couple of days ago. This might shift further west or east, so let's kind of break down what this system will actually do and where the snow is now going to fall in comparison to, be to before. So beginning with tomorrow, we will have a low-pressure system back over in the northern plains. Notice 989 millibars. It's actually quite a strong low-pressure system, and and this is going to start to materialize into more of a winter storm for those in Canada. So notice as we go into Friday morning, this continues to move off to the east fairly slowly. Once we get closer to Friday afternoon, that is when the secondary low pressure system will develop across the southern plains. This will lead to a low end threat for severe weather on Friday, which we will talk about more here in just a few minutes. But there will be a chance for some severe weather in parts of Texas, Missouri, Arkansas, and even back into Oklahoma and perhaps even parts of Kansas. And notice Notice this storm again producing some snowfall in parts of the upper Midwest. And then as we go into Saturday morning, notice that low pressure system that started all the way down here in Oklahoma races off to the north and northeast toward the Midwest. And then notice as well the other storm. This is well back out to the north and east, really not impacting the United States at much at all. Uh, there is going to be a little bit of light snow with this, most likely across areas like Minnesota and as well South Dakota. And then that secondary low pressure system will begin to bring a little bit of a mixture of rain and snow to parts of Wisconsin and as well as northern Illinois, but by no means will this be a winter storm. At least that's what I'm thinking at this point going to Saturday morning. This is by lunchtime on Saturday. I want to point out a few things here. One, we have very close together isobars. That represents very high wind speeds that will be behind this low pressure system. So going into Saturday, if you have any outdoor plans, there will be some pretty high winds across most of this area, from stretching from Texas back into parts of Canada. And also, on the other hand, we'll have a lot of cold the air advection behind this that'll lead to colder weather stretching from the midwest back into the southern plains and then notice again as we go to saturday afternoon showers and storms stretching from the midwest back into parts of the southeast including the mississippi valley once we go into saturday afternoon severe weather will ramp up across areas from texas back into kentucky might even see a little bit of isolated severe weather in southern ohio and indiana again we'll talk about more on that here in just a moment and then once we go into sunday notice there's not really any snow that we're looking at for saturday night but by Sunday morning the low pressure system will likely be associated with this massive area of showers and storms we're gonna have a lot of moisture coming out of the Gulf of Mexico negatively tilted trough which will help to pull all that moisture up to the north and east and this is going to allow for a lot of rainfall across a very large area again this is probably going to be our largest storm of December by far in terms of its pure size this thing's huge once we go into Sunday night into Monday morning that is when we're gonna be watching for snow straight stretching all the way across this very large area with maybe a little bit of lake effect snow across areas like Michigan. But notice this stretches from North Carolina and maybe even far northern Georgia back into parts of the northeast, including New York. And then once we go into Monday morning, this will continue to roll off to the east. Lots of heavy rainfall for most of New England with very minimal areas, I would say, in New England will actually see snow out of this. And then once we go into Monday afternoon and evening, there will be some cold air advection rolling in. So we might get some light snow behind that for those in the northeast 
East overall. And then once we go later in the week by Tuesday into Wednesday, another system back up in Canada will bring some snow. That will not impact the United States. But notice high pressure will be dominating much of the United States as we go into Wednesday and as well as Thursday of next week. So you might be wondering if this all pans out, which again, there have been some changes over the last 48 hours. Things could still change a little bit. But what are the early estimates here for snowfall across parts of the East Coast and as well as the Midwest? Well, the European model is indicating that we'll probably see a few inches of snow across a large area. But notice it's not really anything that crazy. We're not talking one to two feet of snow. And the reason why is that this will be a pretty fast moving high or low pressure system with the snowfall. But notice the snow goes all the way down into parts of North Carolina, primarily in the mountainous region there of Western North Carolina and maybe on the border there of Tennessee. And then we'll also be looking at even across parts of West Virginia. Again, the higher elevations in the Appalachian Mountains could see around four to six inches of snow. And then back over into the Northeast, it's a bit of a different story. This will probably be the area that we see the most snowfall. So notice again, across parts of Central and upstate New York, around maybe four to six inches of snow in some areas. Back into Vermont and Northern New Hampshire, ranging from three to six inches. But again, it's not gonna be a widespread six to 12 inches of snow anywhere. That's not what we're forecasting at this point. it will be more of the variety again of maybe four to six inches of snow for the highest snowfall totals because of how fast this low pressure system will be moving. Now over in the Midwest, this was the area that initially had some thought that we might see the winter storm happen here. Obviously that has changed, but there will still be some snowfall, but it will not be anything that crazy. This will mostly fall on Saturday and we'll probably see around a coating to an inch of snow overall right along the Great Lakes one to three inches again if that was in the upper michigan peninsula possibly and then also back into northern michigan we might get a little bit of lake effect snow and if that ends up happening going into sunday night we'll at least get maybe an inch or two of snow there as well but again nothing too crazy with this when it comes to the total amount of snow but one thing that's gonna be a bit crazier will be the wind speeds behind this low pressure system look at this going into monday morning wind gusts across the entire east coast will range from 30 to 40 miles per hour this is as we go into monday at seven in the morning we could get upwards of 60 mile per hour wind gusts in parts of southern New England and even across the entire east coast around 40 to 50 miles per hour for wind gusts as possible and if we do see that wind with the snow on the ground across parts of maybe Pennsylvania or New York we might actually get some blowing snow which could create some blizzard like conditions I don't think we'll see much of that but if we saw any it would probably be in New York all right let's talk more about the severe weather potential for the next couple of days beginning with flying fences Friday we do currently have a marginal threat of severe weather for Arkansas, Oklahoma, and Northeast Texas. Main concerns are large hail and isolated damaging winds. Saturday is a bit of a different story. This is suspicious storms Saturday. Right now, we do have a slight risk of severe weather stretching from Tennessee back into Mississippi, Louisiana, Texas, and Arkansas. Marginal threat goes as far north and east as Kentucky and as well as the Florida Panhandle and Alabama. I would not be surprised if we saw a small marginal threat go into Ohio or potentially southern Indiana, but it'll be a pretty low-end threat. Main concern is damaging winds, but there will be a couple of tornadoes and as well as large hail. This is the future radar for Friday night. We'll be looking at some showers and storms across parts of Missouri going into late Friday night. This is overall going to be a very low end threat. This area is a bit more of a question mark because there will be a cap in place. If that is overcome, we might see a few severe storms fire off, but it will not be anything too crazy there. Here's what we're looking at across the southeast. We'll be looking at a line of storms to develop going into Saturday around lunchtime or so. This will start to explode across areas like Arkansas and notice as we get closer around six o'clock or so on Saturday night we'll have a line of storms developing stretching from Texas all the way back into Tennessee and that'll produce some damaging winds since the future radar doesn't go far out enough this is what it looks like going into Saturday night into Sunday morning lots of showers and storms but overall a linear line of storms is likely that'll produce more of a damaging wind threat and also maybe a few tornadoes embedded in that line of storms but by no means does this look like a tornado outbreak at this time thank you so much for watching make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe if you've not already.